Hello, it's Jess. Let's take a look at the food at the Cape Cod restaurant, which is an all-you-can-eat buffet at Disneyland Paris. It was definitely our favorite buffet restaurant. We loved it so much, we had dinner there two days in a row. You will see the wide selection of dishes that they had, and I'll share my thoughts on how the food tasted and whether it was worth going to this restaurant. First, here's how we rated it in terms of theming, food, service, value for money, and cleanliness. The Cape Cod restaurant is located in the elegant Disney Hotel Newport Bay Club, and in the morning, it serves breakfast. You can see my review of the breakfast in this video here. For dinner, the all-you-can-eat buffet costs 45 euros, which is approximately 39 pounds for an adult, and 25 euros for children ages 3 to 11, which is around 22 pounds. The price includes one drink. And here's a tip for you. Don't forget to ask for tap water because it's free. Like the hotel, the restaurant has a nautical theme and Cape Cod offers a larger selection of fish and seafood dishes than the other all-you-can-eat buffets in Disneyland Paris. Let's take a look at the starters. First up, we have the soup and the bread. One was a fish soup, which was pretty good, and the other was a parsnip and chestnut soup. Then there's some cold meats, a rabbit and hazelnut pie, and asparagus. There was also a wide selection of salads, which had like couscous, shrimp and avocado, octopus, or a vegetable one. There's a wide range of cold seafood dishes too, for example, smoked halibut and mackerel, cooked prawns, whelks, and crab claws. The crab claws were such a hit with my family, they just loved it so much. Their crab meat was really fresh and delicious. Moving on to the mains, there was a wide selection here as well, from roasted fish, vegetarian dishes, pork dishes, mussels with creamy sauce, and chicken stew. The seafood at this restaurant just tasted so delicious and fresh. I love the salmon that you see here. They also had potatoes and this rice dish, which I hadn't seen before, which was pretty cool. There's also fried chicken, salmon, Mickey Mouse head shaped potatoes, meatballs with a tomato sauce. There was this puffed hot dog as well, which I didn't see in the other Disney restaurants. The sauces were quite different too, like this crayfish sauce. I also thought that the vegetarian dishes tasted better at this buffet than the other ones. Moving on to the desserts. As you can see here, there's so much fruit available. And also, of course, you've got your sweet treats like these donuts and cakes, mousses and jelly. There was also an epic chocolate fountain where you can dip marshmallows and fruit, and there's also ice cream. I really like the cheesecake, the chocolate and raspberry tartlet, and the vanilla and chocolate mini surprise, and my parents loved the sponge cake. There is a cheese section as well. Overall, I think it's a great restaurant. The food quality was excellent, and while there are more seafood dishes than other buffets, there's still plenty of other dishes for those who don't love seafood. For seafood lovers, it just makes the experience fantastic, which is why we ended up going twice on our trip. We were staying at the hotel, so it was super convenient to eat there. If you're considering whether to stay at the Disney Newport Bay Club Hotel, then check out this video. On to the ratings. First, let's talk theming. I think the nautical theming is nice, but it just feels like they could have done more with it. For example, Agraba Cafe has a stunning restaurant design, and I'll be doing a video on that all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant as well, so don't forget to subscribe. On to the food. For us, it's a 5 because there were so many delicious options, the seafood was great and fresh, I loved the roasted salmon dish, the fish was so moist, tender, and flavorful. I also thought the vegetarian dishes tasted great too, which isn't always the case at the buffet restaurants. The service is quite good, although the restaurant is very busy, so staff members were very busy all the time, but we were still served drinks promptly, for example, and if you are interested in a restaurant with fantastic service, I really recommend Waltz. You can check out my review of the restaurant in this video. In terms of value for money and whether it's worth it, I think this restaurant has great food and lots of seafood options like the crab claws and a wide selection of food across starters, mains and desserts. So it was a really good value for money. And also there's the chocolate fountain, which was pretty cool. 
If you are on the half board meal plan, I would say it's very good value for money. If you want to find out more about the Disney meal plans, check out this video because I show you how to make sure it's worth it. Last of all, the restaurant was clean, where the food was served, and the seating area, so I gave that 5 stars. If you want to know more about the hotel and also the breakfast, then check out these videos. Thanks for watching! If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe!